Hi guys, it's Irit with another process video and today I'm playing with some rub-ons. Um, so I was really inspired for this layout by two scrapbookers that I really love. Um, Vilna Furstenberg, um, I love how she uses uh, rub-ons and watercolors or gelatos and also Ashley Oliver. Um, that I saw in the online class called Supplies on Hand. Uh, this is a May Flom class. Um, and uh, she also did a really fun uh, layout with rub -ons. So I picked up a few things from both of them and um, yeah, I really enjoyed making this page even though it had its own share of drama, but you will see this. so. There's a cliffhanger for you there. It's coming at the end. So I skipped here a little bit. Um, I was just putting on the rub-ons, kind of layering them, and I used the Lucky Charm rub-ons. This is an older Dear Lizzie collection, as well as the Daydreamer rub-ons. Um, a little bit of Amy Tan there, the Plus One rub-ons, the Darling on the side you can see and some Studio Calico ones. Now, I have to tell you, rub are kind of a tricky product, I guess. Some are amazing and um, some have a very short lifespan. Um, I had some images that I really, really liked and um, when I rubbed them on my page, um, they came out very, like half the image stayed on the, um, on the sheet that they came in on whatever and um, so I think this is the type of um, technique or style or design that um, you can get away with it because there's like so much you know the look is very messy um, so it's not a huge deal if the um, images don't come out perfectly um, but it can be annoying, so rub are probably one of those supplies that should be used, you know, kind of when you buy them or a little bit and not let them sit too long in your stash. Um, so after I layered all of them, I also added a couple of flare buttons and I am, I picked this up from Ashley Oliver and she adds uh, white paint uh, to her layouts, kind of to tone things down and um, yeah, and I really love how that looks, so I'm definitely gonna adopt that uh, technique. I use gesso on many of my pages, but it's mostly as a primer and um, and not kind of, I don't use it selectively on my other embellishments, but um, yeah, I really like that detail. And I did use gesso here, um, but I kind of wish I used uh, white paint, and mostly the reason is I, I love the texture of gesso. I have heavy gesso and I really enjoy using it, but my gesso is not pure white and my paper here is pure white and it's not a big deal because I am going to add some mists on top of it. Um, but yeah, probably in the future if I create something similar and I'm not covering the gesso with something, I'm going to go for um, like titanium white or, or really pure white. So probably I'll use white paint and not gesso. And I'm just um, trying to use up some stuff for my stash. Uh, I'm really trying to use stuff for my stash. I have been scrapping a lot with um, with uh, the Hip Kit Club kits, which I really love. Um, so, you know, but I also want to use my stash. And this is a really great way, especially for rub -ons. You can see, I think I used like two packages on this uh, page, but when you see how, you know, the images don't transfer perfectly, um, you know, I don't feel sorry about using two packages on one page, um, because I see that these products need to be used or they will just um, go completely bad. So I'm adding some mists and going over it with some packaging to kind of create a watercolor look. You can totally use watercolor here or gelatos. The rub are fun to work with all these like water soluble uh, mediums because they act as a resist. And 
here the look I got was especially fun because there was also the gesso here and there so it's like very playful and whimsical and I really like how it turned out and yeah I was just playing with that and adding some layers behind my photos uh, the photos are just two uh, photos I took of my daughter she was really sweet she came to my craft room and asked for uh, her picture to be taken and of course I obliged and um, yeah so she made these cute faces and um, those are the photos I scrapped I really like scrapping like super uh, current photos it's always fun and then I picked up this um, paint pen that I have kind of it's uh, kind of new it's from Derwent which is I think a British company and when you blow on it you can get this really cool splatters unless you blow like I did now too hard and then you get a huge mess and I was like oh no how did that happen and this layout was way too far ahead to just recreate the whole thing and so this was like a huge mess and it's um, like paint so it's kind of like I don't know what the exact formula is but it's permanent so I wiped it fast with a baby wipe and I removed some of it but there was no way to get it off and then I decided I'll try to add some white paint on it and that did make it better but then that area was also looked that area looked overworked and over processed and I really don't like that look so I was like okay <laughs> what am I gonna do now so I decided to add some journaling on a piece of vellum and I am gonna um, attach that piece of vellum uh, in a way that it covers that area but you can still see um, you know a part like the colors and a bit of the texture also through it because it's vellum and my time is running out so I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching bye